Hello random person, Sab Nino here. Welcome to another Sab Talk. For a question this week, what is the most underrated Spongebob game? Personally, I think that's Atlantis Corpantis for the DS. Trust me, it is much better than the console version. That is the only reason for this question, so just to let you guys know that. We don't really have a lot of news this week, except for the fact that we should have everything fully voice acted for Grunge Bunge Episode 1 by next week or so. Also, designs are still being worked on. That's it. That's all we have this week. So, let's answer the questionnaires. Damon Davis says, Can you do Spongebob Sports Pants theme song, please? And there's an emoji with a goat farting out of fire? Originally, I said no to this around the time it came out, but now I'm just gonna say maybe? Spongebob Master says, you should do a Big Beb style for ARD Grunge Bunge or Sab Talk. Oh boy, imagine a Big Beb type Sab Talk. That'd be hilarious, but that might happen. Christian the Thomas and Friends fan Alt Extra 2 says, what are your thoughts on Quarantine Crab? It's pretty good. It kept my attention. I liked the character dynamics. It got a good laugh out of me. Though it's sad that it's not on the season 12 DVD, at least we have some evidence that it exists. And honestly, with the current stances right now, I can see why they postponed it for a little bit. But I hope they don't flat out ban it like they did with Ms. Like Prestation. I'm still salty about that. Fazbear Ent Official Gameplay and More says, What are your thoughts on Camp Coral? Me and my good buddy Scuff and Drew are still trying to get that video done because we did work on an in-depth review of each episode that is out so far. But for short slots, I think it's pretty good. Elshon2006 says, Wait, is it sus or sauce? But sauce, it's a YTP joke, but the joke in Among Us is kinda annoying though. I think it's always been sus both in Among Us and YouTube poops. I've seen some YouTube poops say sauce, not the condiment, but SOS or sass. It really depends on what clip they're editing. YouTube poop community, sue Among Us. You guys own that joke. CJ says, have you ever played Beg Beb Fight for Bikini Bottom? Indeed I have. It's the best game in the series. Make a Beg Beb like cartoon called Drim Plays Block Mine. Dream Speed Run parody. If I do Beg Beb style cartoons, I prefer not to do any actual YouTubers. That's just not my thing. Crabaturs Carol says, Do you like Parappa the Rapper? 1996 on PS1. Since I don't own a PlayStation 1, unfortunately, I never got around to playing Parappa the Rapper. But I've seen some gameplay of it, and it looks like a lot of fun. I doubt I'd be good at it since I suck at rhythm games, but I like the visual aesthetic of it. Birdie Durham says, Inflation Sab. I'm not doing that for two reasons. One, I did it in the last Sab talk. And second, the next question. Robert J. Squarepants says, Making no inflation ones will get you one million subs. I'm sorry, Brody. That's just too good of an offer to let down. So yeah, no inflation. I'm not doing inflation on this channel. Amaze Games OF says, you see that new King Kong vs. Godzilla movie? It's pretty rad. I've never seen King Kong or Godzilla, nor have I really gotten into it. I might have seen the original Godzilla once or twice, but it was never really something I was that interested in. Six The Dollar says, worst video game you've played. I've heard so many stories about the worst games in existence. From the Bubsy's 3D to the Sonic 06s. Though I haven't really played a lot of bad games, if I'm being honest. However, so far, the worst game I've played was possibly Spongebob Hero Pants. Not only is it the worst game in the franchise, but is probably one of the most broken and unstable games I have ever played. The graphics make the original BFBB look like rehydrated in comparison. Don't even get me started on the dialogue. Especially when the meter goes up, when the characters get their superhero form, and they constantly remind you that the powers don't last long. I'd understand if it was just the beginning of the game, but the fact that they do it throughout the entire game even through the final freaking levels, they feel the need to remind you that the powers don't last long. It sucks. 
This game really sucks. I'm so glad THQ Nordic picked up the license because whatever Activision was doing clearly wasn't working. Not even Plankton's robotic revenge was as bad as this. I am sorry for going on such a tangent. Would you guys want a full review of your pants? I know that it's been overdone, but I feel like I have a lot to say on it. If you have any other questions, please comment them below. Or if you have any suggestions for questions to put at the beginning of the video, comment those as well. And it's all sad from here.